Hi, this is Nick Haraz of Clips and Handles here with Motion VFX to bring you a very exciting tutorial on working with MDust inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. MDust is a practical visual effect. It's a drag and drop effect where we can simply drag and drop it into the timeline, switch our blending mode and have it basically be composited with other footage that we have in projects. The amazing thing about MDust is that it was shot in 4K, so the resolution is more than double the size of HD. On top of that, it's filmed with the beautiful Phantom Flex camera in slow motion. So if I hit spacebar with this MDust that is loaded here into my source monitor, you can see the amazing quality here of the dust particles that were filmed. If I hit shift two, I'll just show you another example of this. Here's some other dust. I'll hit the space bar. You can sort of see this beautiful dust that was filmed the, um, and shot here, or basically with the shot with the Phantom Flex camera. Let me temporarily just mute the audio that's in my timeline. And I want to apply M dust over these three clips here that you see. So I'm just going to drag this clip into my timeline. It's going to be a lot longer um, than and once it's dragged in, I'm just going to simply trim it back. The one thing that we need to know is that by default, we won't see the clips underneath. That's because we need to select the M dust, go into our effect controls, and under our opacity settings, we're going to change the blend mode from normal over to screen. And you'll see right away, the M dust starts to integrate with our footage. And just hit option K to play that back for you. You can see these lovely floating dust particles in our scene. The most magical thing about this, again, is that 4K quality that I mentioned to you. So if I double click here in the program monitor, and I'm going to change this from fit to 10%, you can see the actual size of the video clip. It's huge. It's monstrous compared to the small HD frame that we have. First of all, I can scale this clip down. And then if I fit this back to the window, you can see if I hit option K, how many more particles are now playing with our scene. And that lovely little overlay is being mixed with our footage. The best part about this is also taking this and using multiple M dust effects on top of each other with different blends and different sizes. In fact, I can take this existing M dust effect. I'm gonna option click and drag it. And on the duplicate here, I'm gonna go over to my effect controls and just scale it up to that 100%. So I've got two different types of particles, one that's a lot smaller. So you can see here, if I turn off V3, the smaller particles taking place, and then the larger ones just overlaid on top. To vary these a little bit more, I'm also gonna go into my motion properties and rotate this clip. And if you'd like, you can reveal a different part of the clip. So if I select my slip tool that we see here with the Y tool, I'll just slip the footage to reveal a different part of the dust clip. So this can be done a variety of different ways, but I'll just slip the content and you can see that the in and out point on the clip have changed. So I hit the space bar, again, we get a sense for how that plays. And that's how we can work with MDust or multiple versions of MDust to spice up our footage. In fact, we can change the frame rate, sorry, the speed of this clip as well to intertwine it more and create some really sophisticated looks playing with both compositing modes blend modes that you see here, as well as just simply changing the opacity of the MDust layer. Once again, I'm Nick Haraz from Clips and Handles here with Motion VFX, showing you how to work with MDust. Check out some of my other tutorials on the Motion VFX website. Thanks for tuning in.